Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike. And Cameo, yeah, he's uh, not here. He's often dealing with some uh, family issues there. But I've got a good show planned for you today. Uh, we do not have a winner in the drawing for the Chick-fil-A gift card. Now, I did a little changes and mixed everything around. Welcome all in here. If you're new, like and subscribe. Support the page. Because when you support uh, as far as the channel, you do get free swag and you do get free gear. And you also it entered into a drawing for a gift card. We're going to be giving away a lot more free stuff here lately. We're getting some... Uh, promoters coming on board and uh, not as far as stock promoters but other uh, people coming on board here and we're going to be giving away their products so just give you an FYI that's uh, coming in the works we're doing some things there and we're also uh, with the gift card uh, we did have somebody that we drew and apparently they don't want the gift card so some of the previous listeners wanted Chick-fil-A so what we did is we went forward and we purchased a DoorDash card so you can get Chick-fil-A or get whatever the hell you want. So uh, we're going to do the drawing again today for the gift card. I'm going to choose out of here. I got several, and it's based on comments. So if you've left comments, uh, you are entered to win the prize. Last uh, month's winner was Price Rescue. Price Rescue won the gift card last, last month for AMC. Now, Price Rescue likes winning gift cards because he likes leaving comments. You should leave your comments if you like them. If you don't want to win a gift card, don't leave a comment if you don't want to, uh, as far as be contacted, because we will be contacting you to see if you want the gift card. Uh, so we're going to enjoy, uh, do the, the, the drawing right now. The name I pulled out of here, and the odds are good for people that left more comments, it is Permastrip. So Permastrip, you are the winner, and you have 24 hours to claim the gift card. If you do not claim the gift card within 24 hours, uh, we will draw again tomorrow night again. So we didn't have a show yesterday because I had some things go over, uh, and so we didn't do that. So going forward with the show, uh, we're going to go to our first article of uh, as far as with the show, uh, going into a little bit of economic news because I told you that uh, as far as that I will give you a heads up if I see other things on the horizon that the alphabets won't tell you because I want to help you out financially as far as uh, let you know things that uh, other that the other than the alphabet media wouldn't tell you. Uh, one of the one of the things I, I would like to reference to you guys is to go to uh, the Gateway Pundit and check out the article about Evergrande uh, is collapsing. It's called. That they'll they will not be able to make their monthly debt payments. They are five times larger than Lehman Brothers. I don't know if maybe you've heard of Lehman Brothers, <laughs> going back to uh, the 2008 market crash. But we're going to go into this article real quick, a little bit. It was written by Joe Hoft, and we're just going to uh, give our spin and our thoughts, and maybe you could leave your thoughts in the comments section as well, uh, because if this person doesn't claim their gift card by 24 hours tomorrow, we will be drawing again. So I just keep on adding names and adding names. So your odds go up every time uh, you uh, do that there. Okay, so with this, uh, Evergrande is uh, possibly preparing for a bankruptcy, according to uh, Joe Hoft. And Joe Hoft has spent many times in China, uh, many, many years in China, and has uh, relation, business relationships with people in China. He said Evergrande, Evergrande, obviously, Evergrande is uh, obviously five times larger than uh, Lehman Brothers. Okay, so as you know, Lehman Brothers were famous for the 2008 stock market crash. People are distracted. They're not paying attention. They're looking at other things here and there. And you're looking at your winnings and things like that, which is great. It's always great to look at lock in your profits. But uh, going into this, uh, the Shanghai Stock Exchange suspended trading for uh, Evergrande. Uh, and to quote uh, Joe Hoff, what he said, this could make 2000 in the U.S. Uh, look like nothing is Joe Hoff's quote. I would say that this makes uh, 2008 look like a freaking picnic. So with that, with the analysis is to obviously look at your crypto, look at some of your stocks that are trading NFTs and uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, one, a good one to get into that is not too expensive is the uh, NSAV. NSAV is cheap. You possibly by, by January or February of next year or going into December, you could see the stock going up. Currently, it's in the. It's around the three neighborhood. It was up to twelve cents. Uh, I will. I would say there is a spike. There will be a spike in that. Uh, it's just depending on new news coming out. And uh, but with it, if you had NSAV, 
uh, basically within the last five years, <laughs> you've made a lot of cash. Just make sure you diversify. Like I said, on this show, we tell you about the company, try to give you a background, what you're investing in and things like that. What you need to do is just watch, watch yourself because when this thing hits, all freaking HE double tooth fix hell is gonna freaking break loose. So you just need to watch yourself and make sure you're preparing for what's what's going to come because uh, right now, guys, I don't know if you've been paying attention. Obviously, don't turn on the regular uh, boob tube, but uh, you got the clown world is happening all around us throughout the world, wherever you're from. This is an international show, so we obviously we all share things from an international community in the show, but we're living in a, a clown world right now, guys. It's It's all what I'm going to tell you. It's a freaking clown world. So we're gonna go into the stocks. Enough of the enough of this. I just would like to throw that that tidbit out to you because we do like to alert you and let you know and give you a heads up. But we're gonna go get into the stocks and get right to it, to it, to it. Okay, guys. The first stock we have is LPTX. LPTX. Last tick was two dollars and fifty three cents. Uh, going into uh, the six month history, uh, it was uh, back in March twenty first. It was about two fifty. And then it jumped back up recently, and we'll check the Alphabet News and see what they're saying about this. Uh, looks like right now on the September 21st, we're about 250 here. So if you go into the chart, uh, for anybody that's new, check out the chart there. Uh, we're messing with the TVs and everything like that here, technical difficulties, but we'll get back with it. Uh, you know, it could be up in a day or two, uh, maybe next week, something like that. So, okay, interesting part of this article, which is the heaviest hitter part of the article. Uh, is basically saying that the LT uh, by gene, uh, the LTD uh, anti PD1 antibody, uh, and ke uh, and chemo uh, therapy in patients with gastric or gastrial junction cancer, uh, at the European Society for uh, Medical Oncology uh, Congress, the the company will host a conference call on Friday, September 17th, to discuss preliminary results of the study. So with their study. Uh, if they announce the, the positive initial data from uh, the, dis, the Distinguish uh, study on Monday, uh, the patients would be enrolled in a trial that showed DKO1 in combination and chemotherapy as first line as well as tolerated with the compelling activity. The results presented at the ESMO Congress totally included the, the patient data stratified by tumoral expression levels with uh, visually estimated combined positive score. So uh, with with the, with that and the in, and with the pipelines and the trials that they have and that they keep on going to their different phases, as you see the gradual stays phase up on that, you're going to see your uh, your stock trending higher, obviously. So like I said, follow it. Obviously, since it's being promoted right now, so everybody knows about this one. So if you're new, like I said. You want to find your buy point, but you want to be careful. You don't want to go load up on if you're if you're an experienced trader. Obviously, don't listen to this. But if you're new to the game, you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be loading up uh, on the day it's going up. Obviously, unless you're trying to do a pump and dump quick uh, dump out and make some quick coinage or things like that. But you got to be careful, obviously, with that. But this isn't a, a we, we'll go into buy points sometimes, but we're not going to go into the art of the deal stuff like that kind of crap. You have to go and. Do your research on that. Go to Gutierrez's channel and Sykes and all those guys. So uh, going on to that, we're going to go on to, uh, as far as more of the alphabet, to check out what other things we can find about this. Okay, guys, going on to Stockwitz. That's where the real traders are at. Uh, they, as far as have some of the best information, go out and check that out. Uh, obviously, there are some insiders on there that like to play around and everything, but you have that all over. Uh, that's just the name of the game, but uh, one of the ones I don't like to uh, go on is Investors Hub because you just have lots of cooler carriers on there and you can't get an honest answer. But with uh, Stockwitz, you have a, a variety of everybody that shares uh, information, DD, things like that. Uh, so uh, with with this stock, uh, going on to Stockwitz, because the Mockingbirds are basically, like I said, they'll copy everything or what paid promotion they'll get and they'll mock it to each other. And as you could see and go down your Google machine, you will have all their uh, deals there. So uh, going on to Stockwitz, you have Shot of Trades. It says, develop treat, uh, cancer treatment that it works for people. The, the ask price will get to three. Yeah, I, I do see it's possible, uh, depending on what comes out tomorrow, that this thing could blow up to three. 
uh, or uh, in the future, obviously, you're going to see uh, this is definitely your you're, you're simply too cheap at uh, a number right here uh, as far as uh, what the price point is uh, getting in here. It's simply too too cheap of a price. I do see this going up. It's just how much time do you got to wait and things like that. Uh, a lot of these are going to be a lot safer plays than some of your other ones that you see people farting around with because, like I said, you're you're sitting on with with a printing machine going beep, and yeah, you're sitting with the with the people in Washington just blowing dough, uh, spending money like that, and all the things going around the world. You got to start looking for stocks that are going to protect you and protect your money because there's going to be. I hate to say this, and I've been talking about this for a while if you've been on the show for a while, but unfortunately, we're going to start seeing more people probably. I don't want to see this happen, but unfortunately, we're probably uh, going to see something similar to uh, the 29 crash if this keeps up. We keep on going around like a runaway freight train. So uh, it says, Elite Therapeutics uh, shares skip higher on positive preliminary data from gastric cancer study. So that gastric, that gastric cancer study is on streetwisereports.com. Looks like Streetwise Reports uh, went and posted that. Uh, you have uh, Medical Phase DA is coming, $11. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's from uh, Donko TV there. He says it's going up. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I, don't, I, I see a possibility of this stock going to that point, but just not yet, obviously. It, that's a little bit far of a reach on a Friday, especially when it's Ski Little Friday and everybody knows people cashes out. It's almost the end of booze and boat season. Uh, for some people, so some people it's every day because if you live in a warmer climate, you go out in the winter time, like especially in the 602, the AZ side. Going into Starship Trooper, that was a that was a crazy movie back in the day. Uh, Starship Trooper says traders check out uh, this oversold chart and okay, so trader calls LFT says rally is strong at the pre market since then it's more or less sideways. No trend is clear, but 224 would be nice support. Also, pay attention to the daily levels uh, as resistance. Uh, we also have, uh, let's see, AC Trader says, watch this out, object in motion. Uh, you also have Leap Therapeutics, VIA score is upgraded. That's a bid ask bot. Uh, you also have any medical professionals care to explain facts provided by the company. Sparky SC. So uh, people on there put on the comments there to see if we can get some more information from medical people. Uh, two things are certain tomorrow. It either dumps. Well, I obviously I'm going to see it dump. I'm going to call that because it's on a promotion list. So like I said, if you're new or you're not, you're not sure what a promotion list is, everybody gets them emailed out. Everybody sees that. They all get sent out. Uh, they're they're parroted. The company gets paid a certain amount of money to get put out. Uh, that gets paid out and then they go everybody goes and dumps it after it's been promoted But the good thing is is that if you do I would say suggest that you do sign up for promotion lists The reason why you sign up for promotion lists is because when they do pump you go and gobble up the cheap shit So that's 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 what I like to do. I like to grab the crap stuff uh, the, the good the good shares when they're cheap and I gobble up everything that people dump out because if they unfortunately some people, uh, the, they'll drop out and they'll leave the cheap stuff and I'll, we'll just go back and grab it. That's our advantage that we have. Uh, this hopefully will be the next, uh, my trifecta to the run up. I'm really going deep in the red. Uh, let's see, follow the bulls tomorrow. Please God, please try to make some, uh, more, more of their money in our pockets. Uh, okay guys, the next stock we have is KOS. KOS. Last tick was $2.50. Uh, going through the year-to-date chart, I'm going to put it up on your screen there. Uh, looks like we have from November 20, uh, it was below because obviously uh, we were pretty much energy independent. Then as you get up to uh, when Q card comes in, this thing spikes. Now also notice the other spike that you're going to see. It spiked above 3 and then it got, above, uh, got up to, to 4 again with your summer travel. So you have summer travel with this and you also have... Uh, they're into they're into gas there as well. We'll go we'll go a little more into the spikes here before the description. I want to get to the description first. So the engage in the exploration development of oil and gas. The firm's assets include production of offshore Ghana, uh, Equatorial Guinea, and the U.S. Gulf Coast of Mexico, as well as the development of offshore Mauritania and Senegal. So uh, there you have it on that. Okay, guys. So going on to Stockwitz, we have Birkenstocks. He says oil and gas are looking bullish. 
KOS uh, double inside day. Tell single digit every day. Oil futures still bullish. Continued falling through. Yeah, guys, oil and natural gas, like in the next in the next little bit, it's not going away anytime soon. So uh, it's going to go keep on going higher because Q card uh, wants to be dependent on everybody for reasons which I have theories, but we're not going to go into this because we're not a political show. But if we have anything that Dyer needs, we will share it, obviously. Uh, KOS uh, 675 says Cosmos equals garbage. CPE trying to break $4 and garbage still fighting at $250. When penny stocks will average $6 to $7, Cosmos will struggle above $3. So that was his take. See, like I said, I don't just give my take. This isn't a promotion uh, show for me to promote anything. I'm just telling you what everybody's saying about the stock there. Uh, let's see here before we go in there. KOS then seventy-four dollars a barrel, three ninety a share. Now seventy-two, forty-two, forty-six. Oil inventories are way down now. Oil consumption is way up now. Yup, KOS is a huge bargain right now in the funnel. See, that's some of the thing that I'm. To I'm just saying that if you can get oil and natural gas at bargain basement prices, if you come into February and and January and December with speculation. You could you could still make some dollar riskies here. It doesn't. I mean, I've made money off a of junk stock, uh, not a junk stock, but a company, 66 oil fields, uh, simply shorting that after the prices went up during the right season, buying it cheap and getting in. That's what you got to do, and then you could go back, lock in your profits. You know what to do to get the dollar riskies. Uh, posted this a couple of weeks ago. Broke resistance. I think three dollars is reasonable. Uh, looks like SEC form. Clark Richard Ryan was granted seven thousand. Uh, 0 0.55 units of common shares convert the exercise tax liability with 26,166 units of common shares, increasing direct ownership by 7% to 640, 427 units. Uh, and you can go, that's uh, QuantusNow.com. It looks like QuantusNow posted that. Uh, KOS, uh, 62,526.74 of shares are sold by Clark Richard, uh, SVP president, Gulf of Mexico unit reported on form filed for, for Four filed with the SEC. Uh, this is a bankrupt outfit, Stonker 101, or soon to be. Stay away. They might hire recurring adv uh, rest, rest recurring advisors that that you're all bag holders will take a massive uh, pointing stock will drop 20 cents in a heartbeat if they much announce that the CH.11 is a reverse split. So there you have it on that. So you have all of your good, your bad, your ugly on this stock. You've had your take from your real traders that now you have to take the information and see what you want to do with it or if you're just going to give a hard pass on this one. Okay, guys, the next stock we have is TUEM. TUEM. Last tick was $2.32. Uh, going back uh, back in January 2021, this one was under $2. So you can go back there and check that out there. Uh, crested in March of 2021, looks like after uh, lockdowns, things like that, after the hard winter, uh, almost to July, you were looking at almost 475, 450 and change. And then we saw a massive drop, probably uh, pump dump, things like that, back in, uh, looks like uh, early September. Not, not of recent, but of, uh, sorry, as of recent, the beginning of September, but then we're seeing a little uptick. Now, going with, uh, back on here, Tuesday morning engages in the upscale decorative home and lifestyle goods. Its portfolio of products includes bath, body, bed, craft supplies, dining and kitchen furniture, gifts, and gourmet food, holiday party, and luggage, and outdoor things. So we'll go to the website, check it out, and see what we got. Going on to the website, well, it looks like a $2 and change stock. Going into this, uh, it's the thrill of the hunt, rewarding bargain hunters with name brands since 1974. So we're going back to late, great 1974. Uh, find Tuesday morning stores near you, almost 700 plus locations. So that's good there for you right there. But like I said, uh, we're covering these because we, you know, they were popping things like that on the radar. Uh, but, you know, if it, with with how things are online and things like that, then you could see this thing be be one of the heavy hitters as we... Uh, get to that part where people are doing uh, as 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 things go on and as companies such as uh, your ShredX, uh, your UPS, and your Amazons, they deliver home furniture. Yes, they do. You can get home furniture. I'm sure unless you've been under a rock or didn't know that, but uh, companies like this will do that through them or they'll ship it out through one of the other companies or they'll just have their own deal. Who knows? 
Uh, but going on with it, uh, they have their store locator, so you can find the 700 plus stores. Uh, going through what they have, let's go through the website here. Uh, inspiration, because we don't care uh, how they did it, things like that. You can go check that out on there. Uh, you can find your in uh, inspiration. They have great trends and prices. Keep up with the latest trends. So you, if you're into trends as far as the fall trend, the spring trend, the summer trend, they got it all. They have fall greetings. They have 4th of July greetings. They probably have it all there. Looks like they show you how to make a bed in four beautiful steps. You can read more how to do that. Home decor, fun prints for floors for kids, bedroom makeovers. So they'll do makeovers for you. Uh, how to style a perfect bed or a mini makeover uh, in, in less time there. They have DIY for moms, dads, uh, grandmas, grandpas, everybody out there. Uh, make uh, make uh, space for yours for making your happy place. Man caves, things like that, they got that too. Uh, there looks like they're running a sale there. The departments, let's check it out. They have Beth, or sorry, bath, uh, bedding, home decor, home office, kitchen, pets, sheets, rugs, and uh, trends. So there you go. That's all the departments there. Uh, so we're going to go into the alphabets and check out why uh, this is hitting that hot because there's not much to describe. You obviously know what they do here. Uh, so going into Tuesday morning, we're going to go into, this is Global Newswire coming up. It looks like Tuesday Morning Corp Corporation announces Paul Metcalf of the Chief Merchant. Uh, let's see here. Chief Merchant, uh, September 14, 2020, Mr. Metcalf is a well-respected off-price merchant leader with proven history of optimizing financial growth for the retail business. Uh, Fred Han, the company's uh, chief executive officer, said, I'm very pleased, blah, 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 to announce that he's here. Uh, they're repositioning the work to return the company to the leader in off-price segment. Uh, he's a cons he has consulting capacity with the company acting chief merchant since uh, April 2019. Metcalf has 30 years in the retail experience prior to his consulting role at Tuesday morning. He was executive chief vice president of merchandise for Burling Burlington stores. Uh, he might know my aunt who worked for uh, Burlington as well. Uh, so maybe uh, with that, he's going to bring more experiences, more experience to this and, uh, you know, bring them to uh, the field of uh, prosperity there. We'll have to see what happens. So going into other news there, uh, this was a week ago. Off, off price retailing uh, Tuesday morning has all new slate of top management. Well, we covered that already. Uh, see how the mockingbirds mock? They get you with the headline and you think you're seeing something new and it's the same thing over. They do this with politics. They do this with weather and everything. Copy, cut, and paste. Same talking points, everything. So going through it, uh, top news guide we have on theirs. Uh, it says, in the full scale fiscal year of 2021, the company managed to generate a net worth of $690.8 million. Yes, which was considerable low when... Then lower than the 874.9 million that it had generated back in the 2020 fiscal cycle. In 2021 fiscal year, Tuesday Morning Corporation, as many 197 stores were closed and only two were open as June 30, 2021. The total number of stores stood at 490 in uh, the prior years before. The company has told 714 stores, however, operating losses for the fiscal year were reduced to 49 million to 159.2 million in the fiscal year of 2020. So there you have that statistics to put in your pipe and smoke there. So we're going to go to Stockwitz and we're going to check out what the real traders are saying about Tuesday morning. And then we're going to be peace out of here. Okay, it looks like we have big wave operator says a beautiful day. 30K share strong, subs $2. Uh, other, other signed off on a quiet today as you manage 100% runner granted it with OTC. But still congratulations. Killer stock call. Uh, 4K close of the week, five community at the end of the week, stay united. Okay, so Platinum Trades just goes out and says a lot of people uh, went out and bashed them because of the bankruptcy, uh, but they were wrong, and there's always a 10% bounce today as expected. Uh, welcome to all the new bulls on the page. It's good to see we're getting noticed for the right reasons. Yes, we are getting noticed because this is decent. This is a decent play, and it's a kind of a no-brainer on that. Uh, attention, $15 by October, that's all. Well, it's uh, Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. Uh, please put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't got a penny, a half penny will do. And if you haven't got a half penny, and God bless you, that it could come up to uh, $15. Sub 5 uh, after hours, volume buzz leader, nothing to write home about. Tuesday morning, uh, green light special, says uh, Sheep Wolf. We'll jump over 10% soon. 
Insiders buying uh, insiders there. Let's see. If you have a big green, go red. Oh, boy. So lots of bulls on here. I see the manipul I see what the manipulation is about. They have a, sh a shelf offering of 30 million shares. They're dumping shares today. Float is now double. So, guys, in this, we are talking about it, but just to let you know, it is on a promotion list. And so that's what some people are saying if they're pissed off uh, on the boards because this is currently being promoted. So if you are going to get into this company, you just got to do your research and find in where your buy point is uh, to get in if you want to, or if you want to just do a hard pass because you're worried about retail and things like that in the future. So I'm out of here. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now!